All right, so we've pulled that wall cabinet out of that corner and that had a big full-size 100 mil filler on it. Um, this is a caboodle kitchen. Ported by DIY Resolutions, it does actually say caboodle on it somewhere. It's a Bunnings kitchen. Um, so just one thing, I was at Bunnings once while they were talking about kitchens and they were explaining their different um, finishes. And I remember hearing the guy saying thermoform is the highest quality, best you can get and most resilient. Yet one thing I know about thermoform is it always peels off. We also call it vinyl wrap. And have a look at that. There's like absolutely zero adhesion. Once you plane it off to scribe your fillers in, it's just you're at the mercy of I don't know what. But also cheap shoddy installation here with um, the filler just not scribed at all. And it was just placed up against the wall with a bit of no more gaps. And you could actually clearly see the gap. So you can see the front of the filler was here. The no more gaps is back there. They actually no more gaps to the cupboard, not the filler. And you can see by the silhouette that this was just an L-shaped frame that held that filler on. It was completely open in there, just for all manner of disgustingness to start leaving in there. This kitchen's only two years old. So once when these are like several years to decades old, I've seen them full this high with cockroach poo or rodent nests. So yeah, you've got to seal things off properly. Bodgy work this, bodgy.